Greetings and salutations everybody, this is another update from Ape in Space, where you get all of your Virgin Galactic news and stock information. Alright folks, so a lot of you guys have been messaging me asking me about the Delta spaceships and wanted a little bit of details on it, so I figured I'd make a quick video for you guys. At this point, the design work is already done, and vehicle production is targeted to commence in 2023, so we're very close to those things rolling off the line. So a company named Bell, which is a subsidiary of Texatron Inc., with more than 85 years of manufacturing experience in the aviation industry, will supply the unique feathering system and flight control surfaces. Quarbon Aerospace, known for its expertise in constructing large complex composite parts for aerospace and aviation, will produce the fuselage and wing. The companies were selected following the competitive RFP process based on their ability to meet Virgin Galactic's unique design and fabrication requirements. Virgin Galactic will continue to be responsible for the overall system architecture, design authority for all components, and the final assembly, and integration, checkout, and acceptance testing for the vehicles. Virgin Galactic CEO Michael Kolglieser said this, and I quote, The Delta-class spaceships are an evolution of our distinctive flight system, designed for improved manufacturability, maintenance, and flight rate capability. Bell and Quarbon Aerospace are established partners who bring know-how, ideas and resources that will enable us to produce up to six new Delta class ships per year. Together with Aurora Flight Sciences, who is producing our next gen motherships, we now have the primary suppliers in place to propel the production of our space line fleet at scale." End quote. Folks, this is the path to profitability. The more ships you can send to space, the more asses you can put in seats to go to space. Check out this interview. Their Delta vehicle, so their, their vehicle that's gonna come online in 2026 is really going to be the driver of cash flow, um, making them cash flow positive. And it's taken them 20 years to get here, which is, is notable, but also um, it's driven by the scale of manufacturing. So it's essentially the same vehicle as going to be coming online um, uh, in, in the version prior, but it's going to take them um, uh, to a weekly launch cadence. And so, you know, going from um, a, a single uh, test vehicle to mass production is not trivial, and we're going to have to see how they manage through that. Well, guys, tell me what you think about the Delta class spaceships below in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And remember, any other questions, you can ask me right here in the comments or send it to the email attached to the channel, apeinspace at gmail.com. That'll be your update for today. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. Also, there's some links below if you want some free stocks. Until next time, my friends, continue being excellent to each other and be well.